All right, so this is the PE foam version. I think everyone's gonna be pretty much aware about how this sounds with the PE film. And these are KTT Kang switches. Keep in mind that this keyboard was sent to me. However, this is not, you know, going to change my opinion on things. Also, if you guys miss out on the in-stock sale to, to tomorrow, there's going to be a group buy that follows this shortly after, okay? Okay, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I took off the top of this because I'm. it was kind of hard to put the sleeve back on, but this is how the sleeve looks. This is, pretend this is this is the thing. This is the sleeve here. Pret everyone, is everyone using their imagination? Imagination. This is, pretend how this looked. This is the sleeve. I just took it off because it was too hard to get back on. Yeah, we're all using it. Okay, good. That was the sleeve. This is the PCB. We're gonna take out the daughter board here. Or you know what? I don't think this daughter board can be removed. This might be actually physically attached or glued or something. Okay, we'll leave it for now. I'm not too concerned. I don't know if this is just a prototype thing. Um, there is foam adhered to the back of this. I was a little confused when I first opened the box. But the foam actually peels off like nicely, pretty easily. So if you don't want this, you could literally just peel it off and then just place it back in the case. For now, we're going to leave it. I'm not too concerned about this. This I kind of wanted on the build. However, the PCB does have a lot of flex cuts on it. As you guys can see, there's lots there. So you guys can definitely see there's tons of flex cuts here. There's also flex cuts in the foam, so that won't hinder it at all. Um, some of the spacing issue might be hindering it out a little bit, but again, we'll, we'll try multiple configurations today. But this is a hot swap PCB. We have our knobs. We got some knobs for this guy. And here's the other one. Actually, this one here's not too bad either. This is more like a matte finish. So they're side by side. And this has the knurling on the side too. Actually, you know what? Maybe I do like this one here more. I kind of like the knurling on the side. So you can see there's the knurling on the side. This does not have it. It's more of a flat finish. Cool. All right, and here's the case. I took a, this will come in a nice little like little carrying case type thing, but I took that out. Here's the bottom. Dude, I love this logo. This logo is so beautiful. I'm gonna peel it off chat. Can I peel it off now? Ooh. Three weeks later. This is shiny. Many months later. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Oh, dude, from different angles. L look at that, dude. I think someone in the Wuche Discord asked if there's a gap between the mirror finish part. Let's do this. Um, not really. There's a bit of a, it looks like what, a chamfer? But I wouldn't say there's like a, uh, maybe like a tiny little gap. This one's kind of super here. Maybe. I'm inspecting it for the first time right now too. But I love that split USB port. That looks gorgeous. here this also has foam underneath that's attached but looks like again that does peel off pretty easily if you guys do want to remove that so if you guys did want to get rid of that foam on the top you can again this does have some relief uh, here this is really flexible I believe this is a polycarbonate plate so that's a big bonus 
in case you guys are polycarb fans. And then we have the inside of the keyboard here. So we have the PE film, which we're gonna take out at the moment. Okay, so, oh, and this is the battery slot. So this is one thing that was really interesting about this board, by the way, chat. In the instruction manual I was reading, it said this is a battery slot, meaning this might have a Bluetooth PCB. I'm a, personally a little confused on how the Bluetooth would work ver, ver, through all this metal, but kind of neat. <coughs> Ooh, my, my throat. Kind of neat. Are you going to use minimal lube on the wires? Are you going to pass them again with the syringe? If I need them, yes. Like I said, I will be using them with the syringe if I need to add more later. That will be the thing that I'll have to kind of decide as we go here, um, which we can kind of decide right now as well. So again, I am going to be using the PE film to start. All right, chat, we are going to use the PE film to start and then we'll take it off like we'll do a little quick disassembly and take it apart later on.
Any tips on how to insert switches into hot swap boards without bending the switch pins? Um, okay, here's my number one tip on how to do that. Ready for this? As you put the switch into a spot over here, kind of like just lay it down. You can, you can kind of wiggle it into place for you. Make sure your pins are straight, obviously. Then don't press from like a side or anything. Just press down evenly. But what I what I, what I can say the best method, me best method that I've tried is just like lightly placing it into place Wiggle it around, just make sure it's all good, it's all straight, then just pressing it in. It should just like easily snap in if that's the case. You shouldn't have any issues like that. I guess it's again supposed to look like this. Hold on, let me see if I can do something quick. Can I take out this one here off of this? I'm gonna steal this one here, chat. We're gonna steal this one just to finish this build. We all good with that? We're all good with that, dude. We're all good with that, right? Everyone, smile and chat, dude. We're all good with that, right? We're all good with that? We're all good, dude. Yep, we're all good, dude. Smile and chat. All good, chat. We're all good. We're stealing this one here, and we'll make this one here work when we get to that keyboard there. Oh, I see what it's getting caught on. Uh-huh. There's a little piece of the plate okay th this is kind of interesting here this piece of the plate see how this there we go now it's sitting nicely it's sitting over top of the screw hole a little bit you can see where i was putting some pressure on it and it was rising it a little bit so i guess you have to be careful as you're putting that particular that particular one on <clears throat> Let's 
see if this works now. Did we get it? Did it work? Yeah, look at that. Cool. Too tight? Yeah, a little too tight there. They also said if there's too much wobble, they give you... Okay, so the other thing they put in the instructions too, if there's too much wobble, you're supposed to use some of these Teflon strips around the encoder piece. Oh, interesting. That's actually pretty smooth. That's pretty smooth, chat. So this is the PE foam version, and we'll can we do a full right shift. Yeah, you can technically. This is the PE uh, film version, so we're gonna see what this sounds like with the PE film. I think everyone's gonna be pretty much aware about how this sounds with the PE film. Notepad. And these are KTT Kang switches. Yeah, the PE film is very, very, um, is very, very apparent. But some people really like this, right? Some people really like this sound. I think this is actually a little different from what I remember than some of the other boards. Jelly showed the way. I feel like this does sound a bit different than the Jelly. Unfortunately, I don't have the Jelly built right now. But I have tons of sound tests of it up. Show notepad? No. So, now we've removed the PE film. So let's see what this is going to sound. Nothing's changed. It's still using KTT King switches. Um, it has to have the other foam for now. I will look into it after stream to see if I have any other pieces of pour on. So maybe we can do that alternative build method. Ooh. Mm. It definitely has more character now, dude.
So it doesn't seem to have many options for layout on this one, so we can't do all one U. So this seems to be a fixed option for what we can do with this, just as an FYI. All right, numpad, these are with the Wuche Aurora switches. Looks really good. I like this. 